What up everyone, this is Q. I want to talk to you guys about little people today. People often think when I mention little people, like people from not from Alaska, they think I'm talking about midgets, like humans. But I'm actually talking about a different race of humanoid. Uh, you may have heard in the uh, discovery back about seven years ago or something, uh, about little humanoids found in Malaysia called Homo florensiensis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, they found um, eight skeletons of little three-foot-tall humanoids, and they think they went extinct 18,000 years ago. Um, but the fact is, in Hawaii, Alaska, uh, all over the world, people, even in Africa, I've, I've met people from Africa, people still have settings of these little humanoids. They're only about three feet tall. Um, some descriptions vary depending on region, but a lot of the people that I talk to here in Alaska say that they're, uh, they got big eyes, large eyes, like they're nocturnal or they could see in the dark. Um, large eyes, three foot tall, gray or green skin. Some people say, oh, they got normal color skin, but I don't really know it's true because a lot of people say green and some people say gray. So it's kind of all up in the air. Uh, I heard they have kind of long arms in relation to their body compared to humans. Like humans have a certain length of arms that are just hanging a little bit lower. There's a lot of settings of them every year here in Alaska. Um, um, what I gathered, I pieced together a lot of information from a different store from different stories across regions, and they all seem to match from all over Alaska. I hear that they live in hills or mountains. They don't like to come out. Generally, in the daytime, uh, there are stories about them not wanting to, to, like someone will capture them, and they don't want to be. They want them to be let, let them go before uh, morning comes because they don't like the sunlight. Uh, large eyes, living underground, and a lot of supernatural stuff with them. I could tell you guys a few stories uh, about little people that I've heard. Uh, in Noam, they call them the Ishiguk, which means the people that hide. And uh, there's a story that talks about how they're really good at hiding. Apparently, they're really fast. They're fast-moving beings. And this, these people were boating in Koktovik, I think. And um, they are just drifting down the river. They didn't have their motor on. And because they're just silently drifting down the river, they saw a bunch of little people cutting up uh, animal on the beach. They're real little, like real tiny people. Just busy. they're working so hard, they didn't notice that the humans were just going right by them. And then someone on the boat made a little bit of a noise, like a splash or something. And then they all just they zipped away hella fast. Um, a lot of the stories also talk about how if you meet with the little people, or if they take you to their home, or if you watch them in their home. Uh, time will change from like it might seem like an hour or ten minutes to you, but outside in the real world, years and years will go by. And a lot of the descriptions of how they move is shifting, like like really fast and kind of jerky. And the funny thing about Imanarks and Ijaduk stories is the description of them sounds a lot like um, the gray alien descriptions, like large eyes, gray skin, or little green men, or whatever. Um, and the way they move, kind of, like, distorted, like they're not in the right time. It's really interesting, I mean, there's two types of little people that I know of in Alaska. There's two different species, and not just the three-foot-tall ones. There's one species that only grows to about one foot, and then the other species is the three-foot-tall, then there's humans, and then there's two neat or giants that are like 14 foot tall, then there's a really big giant that gets like 15 to 20 something feet tall. I'm kind of getting sidetracked here. But uh, yeah, the they found skeletons in Malaysia. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of sightings a year. If you go to different villages here in Alaska, you'll hear different stories, like so many people have seen them. I've been trying to figure out the locations and where they live, and I found a few hills that I've been trying to investigate. But the problem is I gotta go at night, and most people aren't very keen on going, like, I don't wanna go at night, because there's bears out and stuff. 
So I gotta, I either gotta go alone or find some one of my brave friends to come with me. But uh, I believe they're real, and I don't really understand what they are. Uh, I, I think they live underground, and the reason why we don't see them is because they purposely hide from us for some reason. And they have villages and towns that are underground, according to all the stories I hear from across the globe. Like, it's not just Alaska that says it. Uh, there's a hill in Honduras that supposedly a little tribe lives in. And anyone who goes there goes missing. I don't know if they're killed or what. Um, some tribes are considered dangerous, and other tribes are considered peaceful, like, just like humans. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what they are, but it's really interesting. And if any of you guys have seen them, uh, just leave a comment.